God bless you. On this week, the Lord has laid on my heart to pray for um, our children. The children, the young ladies, um, the situations uh, with the kidnappings, the white slavery, and you know, just disappearances overall. God is able. Um, we could talk to God. He knows everything. He knows what has happened. He knows when people are planning to do things. And so we're going to, if you will agree with me in prayer, we're going to pray uh, for the children and these young ladies uh, and young men that have been disappearing. Jesus, we come to you, first of all, asking that you will forgive us of our sins. Anything and everything that would block um, our prayers from being heard by you, anything that would keep us from getting a prayer through, we release, we, we repent of. Lord, we hold no unforgiveness in our heart, no grudgery. Lord, we um, cast all our care to you, for you care for us, and we repent. We repent and turn away from anything, any sin in our life in the name of Jesus. And we come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in our time of need. Father God, we stand in the gap. We intercede on behalf of the little children all in our communities and young ladies and teenagers and, and uh, teenage girls and boys and young ladies and such in our communities, Lord God. These are our children, Lord God. These are nieces, our nephews, our cousins. Father God, I ask that you, would, we put the blood of Jesus over all of our children, the children in our communities, the children in our apartment complexes, the children that ride the school buses to and from school, the children that attend schools in our neighborhoods. Oh Lord, the children um, everywhere, Lord God. When they go to the park, we put the blood of Jesus over them. When they're in the grocery store, we put the blood of Jesus over them. In the name of Jesus, we pray Psalm 91. We pray Psalm 91 over these children, over these young ladies and these young men. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you would protect them from um, the evil ways of the enemy. Um, we ask that you would hinder that you would stop every kidnapping plot everywhere you know lord god you know when our children are being watched our young when there are young ladies are being watched lord we ask that as parents as grandparents as uncles as godparents as babysitters that you will open up our eyes that we won't be ignorant of satan's devices that um we, we call in the angels. We ask that you would send angels, Lord, angels of the most high God, angels that excel in strength to be on our playground, the, the playgrounds and in, in the community and um, all over in, in the name of Jesus. Lord, protect the children. Um, they don't even know they're being watched. Lord, protect, Lord God, um, those victims that the enemy wants to take. We pray for those who are in captivity somewhere. Um, maybe they're being, a, whatever the situation, Lord, we ask that you would uncover it in the name of Jesus. Uncover the situation in the name of Jesus. Lord, there are parents who want to know what happened. There are parents that just want to hug their child, uh, love on their child, see their child again alive well and in their right minds. You're able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ever ask for or think. We ask that the children children would call out to you. We ask that they would call on the name of Jesus. We ask that you would protect them. We bind all hurt, harm, and danger, death and destruction, all manner of accidents and injury in Jesus' name. Don't let our children be taken from us and given to another. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, again, we ask that the enemy would make mistakes that would cause them uh, to be caught, that would cause them to be exposed. In the name of Jesus. There's nothing too hard for you. Nothing's too hard for you. Have mercy, Lord God. Lord, give us wisdom. 
with, with these young people. Give wisdom, Lord God. Give wisdom, Lord God. Protect, Lord God. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.